iOS 11.3 Developer Beta 2 has been released. Let's find out what's new in this video. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and iOS 11.3 Developer Beta 2 has been released. Now 11.3 Developer Beta 1 was released shortly after 11.2.5 but today we have the second beta. Now this is going to be a short video because this is not a big release here. It just looks like a lot of space because I was having so much issues with the first beta. It's really buggy right now 11.3 so I had to uninstall it and put 11.2.5 back on the iPhone 10. But you can see right here, before I did do the update, I did have 234.79 gigabytes of space on iOS 11.2.5. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the settings and show you the build number on this guy quickly before we go and talk about some of the new features. So let me go over here to general and go to about and you can see the build number should be right around here somewhere. It is 15E5178F and 236.1 gigabytes so it looks like i lost a little bit of space in this update I actually gained some excuse me on that one so i gained a little bit of space here on this update as i usually do when we do updates now the big feature here with ios 11.3 is the new and emojis you've seen if you want to see my full review on ios 11.3 where i cover all the features i'll link it down below or up in a card up above but what's really new here with ios 11.3 beta 2 is a new battery feature. So let me go to general, scroll out and go to battery. And you can see right here, battery health beta. So finally we're getting some battery tweaking abilities where we can change like, so it doesn't slow down and stuff like that. So let's go into battery health and you can see right now I got the iPhone 10. So of course it's gonna be at maximum capacity of 100%. So what this feature is gonna do is if your phone has a random shutdown, you will be able to change the ability to change the peak performance and stuff like that. However, this only will be activated if you have an unexpected shutdown is what I'm reading so far and learning so far. So basically, you're not going to be able to tweak it unless you have a problem with the battery and Apple is going to kind of know if there's an issue. I don't know how that stands with me. I want to be able to change my battery whenever I want to do it. I don't know about you, but that's how I feel about it. And um, it looks like it's only going to work if you do have a battery shutdown unexpectedly. So eh, this feature is still in beta. We'll see what happens with it soon, but you can go ahead and pause and read what it does say right here. It says this is a measure of battery capacity relative to when it was new. Lower capacity may result in fewer hours of usage. And you know why this is all happening because of the big media scheme, but really that's it here with iOS 11.3 beta two. It's not much other than that. Speed is okay. Like I said, there is some lag. This is really not gonna be released till spring. So you're gonna wanna wait a while on this. So should you download it? I don't think you should download this right now. The battery feature will be important for iPhone 6 se 6s 7 and 7 plus users but again i wouldn't download it right now on the beta unless you absolutely are having horrible battery issues and you want to try out that new feature but it's going to be pretty unstable and not working correctly at this point so if you found this video informational helpful enjoyable do me a favor click that like button for me and subscribe for more videos like this nick here helping you to master your technology be sure to have a great day and peace